All right, guys. I messed up. Common mistake for a first time YouTuber. Common mistake for a beginner. Excuse my dogs, they're just out roaming around, but I wanna say to you guys that I lost my first footage. Recorded a whole intro and me working on the car and the whole everything, the whole nine yards. I made a perfect, I mean a perfect video. Edited everything. But then the app boofed on me. Just like that. I lost like the first half of the video. So, this is gonna be the intro. I'm gonna be pulling off my steering knuckles, gonna go take them to my buddy's house so that he can cut them, weld them short, and now go ahead, paint them up, put them back on, make it all look very nice, get a new modification, upgrades to the Miata. So hopefully you guys will like the video, y'all like and subscribe, give it a thumbs up, Give it a comment, tell me what you think, and let's go ahead and get on with the video. So we're here. I already got this side mostly done. Right here. We took the caliper off, and it's right there. Now, you just gotta pop this off, pop this off, and then we're good to undo the upper ball joint, the lower ball joint, tie rod end right here. And go ahead and I'm gonna put you guys down and we're gonna go ahead and finish it up. All right guys, got the rotor off, got the coil over off. Now I just gotta get this off so I can take the wheel bearing out, put take out the heat shield, bust out the top tie rod and the lower and they'll come off. I already have the other side done right here. I can't really get much footage of what I'm doing right now, only because my lighting is horrible. I wanna turn on a light or anything, but I have nowhere to hang nothing. I have nowhere to do anything. I have to get one of those portable magnet lights. So for right now, I can only give you guys updates for, but one side is done. Now I just gotta take out that wheel bearing and we'll be set to go. All right, guys, after numerous of times of hammering, pulling, and doing all this crazy stuff, I finally got the wheel bearing cap off. Now, we just got to hit this, nick it back up, get the impact, take it off, slide this off, do one, two, and three, then this will come off, and then we can do the ball joints. Let's get her done. Got the rotor off, got the heat shield off, got the wheel bearing off. Now she's bare, all we gotta do is bang this one out, bang this out, and then last bottom one. Alright guys, we're about halfway done. We got the knuckles off. They are right there, left and the right. I am going to need to get a new lower ball joint, but I have already ordered that from O'Reilly's. I am going to need tie rod ends. It's still hard to move, so I might still run those only because I have an event coming up and I'm running out of money. But everything is done so far. I got absolutely everything off. I got the lower one off. Got the tie rod. And got the upper one. All right. I got the control coil over, wheel bearing, wheel bearing nut, rotor, which I might get a new rotor. And I got the heat shield. Scrap. I just gotta go ahead and put my tools away and then we go drop those off 
We'll go ahead and drop those off to my buddy's house, shorten them out, paint them up, and slap them back on. Got everything cleaned up, ready to lock up the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the knuckles. Go ahead and take them to my buddy Mikey's house and we'll be good to go. Catch y'all on the way. All right, guys, we're at my buddy's house. The sun is in my face, but we're gonna go ahead and drop these off. Put them behind the Acura, stanced out. There's my buddy Carmelo. Oh, parts car, but hey. There we go. Now we'll cover them up. They should be done here within tomorrow or the next day. Hopefully we'll be able to get them back put them back on the Miata, test out the angles, and then take care of any other sensors or anything that we need to take care of before the drift event. So y'all take it easy till tomorrow. All right, guys, what's going on? We left off at dropping off the knuckles at my buddy Mikey's house. We are finally back. We're back, it's the next day. We already got them all done. I'm about to paint them up gold. I got this one and I got the other one. I got the tire rack right here. And I got the other one. Ready to get sled on. We're gonna go ahead and start working on it. Clean up all the parts, get everything ready to get put back on and we'll go from there. All right, guys, hopefully this works. It's some cheap degreaser. Don't really know much about it. Looks like I'm running out. Hopefully we'll be good to go for this side. So we all right, guys, I got everything sprayed. Hopefully this will be some good degreaser we go ahead and spray a little more on this side just cuz trying to get this cleaned up make it look good for the drift event this goes yeah looks like we ran out look at that red man hey yo get it all real clean The previous owner had spray painted it all red around here, like everything red, and then had spray painted the whole engine bay black, which sucks. We got her painted black. She's good, but as you can see, there's some overspray underneath. That's why I went ahead and got this. See, no overspray. It's all nice and shiny black. And wipe that side down, get it all cleaned up, get it all degreased, so it'll be ready to spray. Be good to go. All right, got everything cleaned up. I have to tape this right here so it doesn't get covered with the paint. And then I'll be able to paint these gold, I'm gonna paint these white, and I'm gonna paint from here to here black. That is still right in style, you know what I'm saying? So that's why we gotta also fix this lip. The gap that's right there. And then we'll worry about the paint job later on. Right now, let's worry about, all right.
All right, I got the first coat on. Everything ready for paint. Um, we're gonna go ahead and dry off the inside of the wheel well so we can go ahead and paint it up get it all done and slap everything back on all right got those mostly painted i just got to flip those over paint those then these can go on the table all right guys so it does look like it's gonna rain so i'm gonna have to speed this process up these are gonna have to stay drying because I can't flip them yet or else they'll get dirty and I don't want none of that. So we're gonna go ahead and put the knuckles on here and get those painted before it rains so then we can go ahead and set them inside so they can dry overnight and then tomorrow we'll go ahead and put everything back together. Today I kinda wanna get everything ready, get it cleaned up, get it all hot boy looking and then we put it all back in, get it good to go. Like I said, here, Got everything nice, looking good. All blacked out. Shiny as well. All right guys, I got the knuckles all painted. They're looking pretty good, gold. Got those white. Knuckles will match good with those wheels. Oh, it's gonna look delicious. Went ahead and painted the back and the front. Looks pretty good. I am gonna have to put everything back before it starts raining. So we're just gonna have to call it a day for today and come back tomorrow. Um, I didn't get as much as, as I would like to get done today. I still have to change the cooling temperature sensor and splice and do some stuff with the crank, crank positioning sensor. But as of right now, we got all the parts cleaned up. Got them all looking nice and hot, boy. Got the knuckles right there. Got the heat shields right there. Next, all I have to do is touch up those coilovers right where it's black down there. It's just all scuffed up. Other than that, we're looking pretty good. Um, the rain looks like it's gonna come down pretty heavy. So I am gonna have to put, so I am gonna have to put everything away, put everything back and just close the video for today. And we'll be back tomorrow. So see you then. All right, guys, we're back. Day three on this angle kit. Everything looks good to go. It's all dry, very clean looking, very good. Let's just go ahead. Swap out these ball joints. I got some new ones right here. I just picked them up. Got two ball joints. Let's go ahead, swap these out, put them back on, put everything back on, test out the angle kit, and then worry about the brake lines. Let's go. I got these gloves. I've never used these. We'll see how they go. I have a strong feeling they're gonna rip. Got the old one out, let's grab the new one. Got the knuckle in. To me, it looks pretty good. Really nice and sturdy with the new lower ball joint. So let's go ahead, get the shield, put it on, and we'll be good to go. As far as the gloves, the gloves, I think they are A-OK. -okay. They are still not ripped. 
Looks like I'm Aquaman. But gloves are pretty good. They're holding out. Let's go ahead and get that on. All right, guys. I got the dust shield on. Now time to put the bearing. All right, got the wheel bearing on, got the dust shields on. It all looks very good, very nice, very nice. All right, we're all done. Now I just gotta get the tie rod in and we'll be good to go. All right guys, we have everything put back together. I have a bunch of my tools already cleaned up. I'm just trying to take care of the alignment. Uh, once I put everything back together, it was extremely towed out, but I think I fixed it. I had to max out my tie rod, so we'll see. Hopefully it did fix it. If not, we're just gonna have to figure something out with these tie rods, but I can run toe out for the drift event, just for the event. But we'll see, we'll slap the tires back on, see what it looks like, and we'll see what the angle looks like. I have the tie rods maxed out and I really don't know what to do. So if you guys have any ideas what I need to do, just please throw it down in the comment. Um, right now, let's just go ahead and put the car down and see how much angle we have. We might be able to just do it from here. Let me just see. That is a whole lot of angle right there. Look at that angle. You can absolutely see everything right there. That concludes the end of the video right there. We got the angle, we got everything done. Everything's put back together, ready to go back on the ground. The only reason I'm not gonna put it back on the ground is because I gotta change my coolant temperature sensor and my crank positioning sensor. So I'm just gonna leave it up top just in case I gotta do anything. I got, I'm off tomorrow. So I'll be able to do work tomorrow, do another video tomorrow. But as of right now, the car is done. She has angle, solid angle. All right, make sure y'all like and subscribe. I hope y'all like the video. Y'all take it easy and have a good night.